interesting. It's been a while since we played this game. We're going to get right into it. Uh, we always start our days off with bidding uh, for a horse because you can do this for free in this game. You can get one free horse a, a day. It's not a lot of horse racing games where you can literally get one free horse a day. And of course, most of the horses look like this. They're three stars and pretty bad, but sometimes you get an occasional gem. So um, definitely definitely make sure you're um, you're doing that if you're playing this game. We're just checking a couple of prizes here. 2,800 coins. Welcome the dragon. What does that mean? Not like I'm complaining. I mean, I have enough to buy more teaser fruit as well. And I'm going to spend 30 diamonds for that. I'm just doing some basic um, housekeeping. You guys don't have to be too focused on all that. But okay, let's actually look at our horses and then get ourselves into a race. Usually I try to edit these um, type of videos. I think I'm just going to keep this one rolling today. And just try to make sure I'm about business and there's not too much um, dead space, so to speak. So we have six horses we're working with now. Uh, two, well, yeah, two fillies, and then the rest pretty much are colts and uh, eventual studs. So, um, let's go ahead and look at Sim Rally, our first horse up here. Sim Rally, uh, he's four years old and four months. He's a little bit light on the weight, so we need to get that up. He's pretty much maxed out, and he's cl getting close to his prime. He's pretty much at the prime age, so most likely I'll be retiring this guy by the end of this season. Um, looking at his record here, five grade twos, two grade threes. Um, he has eight wins total out of 11 races. So I think this is actually my most consistent horse I've ever had in this game. And he's a horse that I got from breeding my own two horses. He used to sire C's brand uh, and the damn bubble under. I think that was the first breeding pair I did and ended up getting some rally. I think I bred those two, or he was just a horse that I acquired through the auction. A horse I definitely own that's my own horse is uh miracle wonders here this is a uh, four-year-old colt six star rating highest uh star rating you can get for the horse in this game uh, again light on the weight so i need to make sure I, i'm getting my horses fed uh, a little bit better to increase that weight he's in good conditioning he's ready to roll he's pretty much maxed out on everything that's important and um, he's from king de oro my sire and out of my damn amora jewel so looking at his record uh, three grade twos, no grade threes, no grade ones, three wins out of seven races. Not bad. He either wins or he finishes worse than fifth. So <laughs> that's just kind of the deal. But we're going to go ahead and get started, at least with horses that we can race immediately. Um, I would do live races right now, but I'm kind of realizing those are only important to do if you have feel like you have a good chance of winning them. I'd rather do regional races. They may not reward you as much, but if you can stack regional races against the AI and win those, that's going to help your horse develop a lot better than putting them in PvP multiplayer races and then you finish, you know, fifth, sixth, eighth, whatever, right? Focus on the races you have a better chance of actually competing and uh, doing well then. So what I'm going to do... Feed him a carrot. Carrot will get his weight up a little bit, drop his fatigue. Probably could wait another week to race him. And yes, I think I do need to do that because he already completed a race, I guess, last time I played. So delightful kiss. This is our filly right here, as you can see on screen. So she is three years, seven months. Um, her weight is good. Her fatigue will be uh, coming down. Her conditioning is almost ready for her to hop into a race. So actually what we're going to do is probably feed her a carrot. Gets her condition. Actually, let's feed her um, well, silly. That'll drop her fatigue to four. Her conditioning's still not ideal. Probably actually need to put her through a training session just to make sure she's ready. So if I do a enhanced gallop, she'll be at 100% conditioning. Her fatigue will increase quite a bit, but you know what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to feed her apple vinegar because that drops her fatigue down to zero, which means now she's ready to go ahead and race. So she'll be the first one we get started with today. And we'll put her in a regional race. I should show you her record right quick. Three grade threes, no grade twos. Hoping we can start to win grade threes. But she's raced six times and she's won three over six races. So 50% win ratio. Not bad for a three-year-old filly, right? So let's go ahead and do a regional race. And another grade three. Nothing I can do about that. And it's going to be a field of eight running i did not even check the distance actually guess we'll have to wait and see probably should have done that beforehand but either way hopefully we get this win and there's our girl delightful kiss and let's see how she goes Sorry about that. and we are off and racing so 
It's not the uh, best of starts for Delightful Kiss, but she's sitting there in fourth towards the rail. There's actually another jockey in this race that actually has very similar silk colors to me, so I was going to try to point ourselves out, but since that other jockey looks very similar, I'm just going to wait till the stretch. Skip to the last 400 meters, and down the stretch we come. We're sitting in second place here with Delightful Kiss. We're chasing the leader, as you can see. We are the green cap, pink torso silks with white sleeves and orange with them as well. We also have the... Uh, the, the pink radles, uh, radles, my gosh, the pink uh, reins there. That's why I always try to color, I always try to decorate my horses as much as possible. She gets the win, she gets the win. Congratulations to Delightful Kiss, winning another great three. Puts her on four for the season. But there's also a reason why I like to just customize my horses with the tack and color I use. I like for them to stand out, you know, like if, if I'm making a horse that looks exactly like the others, I just don't really see the point, and it's not my preference. So good win for her. Very good win. She's still rated at 110. Her weight drops a little bit. She's pretty much maxed out. But again, um, she's probably she probably has a quick growth type. Let's see. Yeah, she's at her prime age. Wow. Talk about quick. She's already pretty much about the peak at her peak. She's four stars. But the good thing is we can use her for breeding. I'm not sure what we'll get from her, but again, just having more custom horses I can use for breeding, that's going to be ideal. In fact, I'll probably do a couple of back-to-back -back breeding videos in this series uh, coming up within the next couple of days where I'll be retiring some of these horses. I'll play some of this game offline just so I can move through uh, the progression. I'll retire some of these horses and then we'll start breeding. So here's another one of our Colts, six-star Colt rated 104, Equibase figure, if that's easier for you guys to consider it. Uh, he's light on the weight as well. 16% fatigue, pretty much ready to go. So I don't need to train him. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and feed him carrot. Gets his weight up and not by that much. Or I could feed him a vitamin. And then that risks keeping the fatigue where it's at. 16% um, is not ideal. But um, yeah, I may have to um, wait to race him next week as well. He should be good. I wanted to make sure his weight was good. So Miracle Wonders will be skipping you. Uh, move on to our next horse, Bright Fun. This is a five-year-old horse that we have, rated 102. He's also light on the weight. His conditioning is good. His fatigue as well. Do the same thing. Give you a vitamin, and then I will rest you and hopefully get you in a race next week. You have a late growth type, which is nice. And um, he's actually one of my strongest horses statistically when you look at him top to bottom because um, he has a good growth type. Um, all of his important stats on the left side here, you can see are all A's and B pluses, which is ideally what you want. These stats in the middle obviously are important, but nowhere near as important as the one on the left. You want to make sure you get, you're getting A's and B's on the left. And uh, he has 81 speed, 81 stamina. That's pretty balanced. I don't usually get horses that like that, so I'm excited to retire him. Check his record. He has two grade twos, and that's about it. So two grade two wins out of seven races. He's been on a uh, slumper uh, last four four finishes in fifth place in a row no idea what's going on there so bright fun he'll be racing next week move on to crown pilot another 102 six star rated colt um you guys are going to see in the uh the common trends right most of my horses now are at a decent rate now his speed is maxed out at 90 so we have a true uh true speedster here at least in regards to just raw speed which is nice to know still has a lot of training to do his conditioning is not where it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and toss him into Turf Barrier Trial here to get that willpower up, most likely. Does anything else increase? Not really. I want to do a training session that's going to actually increase several of his stats. Um, willpower. So cl clockwise will be maxed out at B. Actually, what I'm going to do for this guy, I'll stick him to a Turf Barrier Trial. And we'll go ahead and run it. And there he is, right there with the uh, green cap. That is our guy. So let's look at his tack right quick. Yep. Uh, green reins. I still have those in check. No blinkers. Okay. So uh, this guy, Crown Pilot, we will be getting to in a couple of weeks for his race. And last but not least, four-year-old Philly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call her Battle because I, I don't know what her name was supposed to be, and I didn't name her, so I think I just had her spelling, so that's why her conditioning is all the way down, um, so she'll be good to go, 
Uh, she looks okay so far. I mean, 72 speed, 71 stamina is not great. So using her for breeding as a mare, if she doesn't pick it up soon, I'm probably just going to let her go because I don't want to breed with bad horses at all in this game. I only want to breed with horses that I actually have like a decent uh, winning record. So we'll train her a bit. She does have a later growth type, so maybe she'll start to show us some promise later down the line, but got to wait till we get there. So let's do a turf gallop. Do we get anything here? No. Turf gallop or barrier. Let's do a dirt barrier gallop. This will drop her weight a little bit. It will get her conditioning to increase by 15%, which is what she needs, because I do want to try racing her. But she doesn't look like she's too strong, so I'll probably let her go at the end of this year if she doesn't improve. Okay, so I believe that's everything for this month for all the horses that could race. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the month of May now. I'm in year 11 in this game. And we'll go ahead and, uh, I guess, continue where we left off and work backwards. So here's, again, our filly battle 90 rated late growth type still trying to figure out more about her we'll train her again probably doing the same thing because it seems to work her weight is dropping but we're getting her stats maxed out and we're getting her back into condition for racing feed her a carrot just to make sure i keep that weight somewhat uh reasonable and she's pretty much done on to the next crown pilot uh, his weight is good conditioning almost good could feed him a vitamin and we'll race him now in fact that Probably not a vitamin, uh, not a vitamin, excuse me. Um, could do apple vinegar, and that's what I'm going to do. His fatigue drops to uh, zero now because I use the apple vinegar item, which automatically takes your horse's fatigue from wherever it is and uh, reduces it to zero. That way your horse is not fatigued and you can race them immediately. As always, this is just regional races here today because, again, I want to stack these type of wins if I can. Uh, no jockey wants to run on it as the closer for us. I'll go ahead and take Anthony D., to be our jockey and field of 10 here this time out and this is just a quick look at at least some of the horses but there's our guy right there on screen with the green bridles uh, excuse me green reins i meant to say and um white bandages on the four legs but that's about it kept them really simple b plus rated horse here on the turf so should be the highest horse in this field uh shout out a doubt are we carrying a handicap no actually even field in terms of weight so Go ahead and go to the Grade 2 Floor Stakes and see how our boy Crown Pilot is doing. It's off and racing, not a great start, but Crown Pilot is a closer, so he will be at the back regardless, so we don't need a good start. And we'll go ahead and forward to the last uh, 400 meters. So here we come. All the way on the outside here is Crown Pilot. Again, I always look for bright green, bright pink, bright orange in this game. Those are typically my silk colors. And look at Crown Pilot. Look at the run here as we're in deep stretch, battling with the horse on the inside that's discreet. But I think Crown Pilot has the better stride, and Crown Pilot going to get himself, looks like, another victory. As tight and as close as it, is, as it is, no question, no doubt. That's Crown Pilot at the line. Great victory. That's two wins here today. I am way behind where I need to be for multiplayer. I've won races, but uh, that's been one every blue moon, and I was using a different horse that I don't have now. Um, so it's not that I can't win a multiplayer, but I'd rather not waste the time if I can't at least finish in the top three. So a great result there for Crown Pilot. He goes from rating 102 up to a 110 rating. So that's eight additional points. Uh, he wins us basically 80 gold as well. His counterclockwise ability improves, so does his willpower. And apparently his stamina improves, even though he's already maxed out. So either way, great result there for Crown Pilot. And again, that's an, a grade two against the AI. And to me, you need those type of results. So let's go ahead and check this. I think that's about good. Um, so probably do one more race here, because I think we're making good progress. Um, so bright fun. I'm going to go ahead and move on to you, and I'm going to go feed you apple vinegar and get you in another regional race as well. And this will be the last one for this video. I am going to be recording a lot of these, so expect these to be split up into uh, smaller uh, parts just so uh, we can make the progress we need to make. Um, but bright fun. Again, five-year-old horse. We'll go ahead and throw him in a regional race. Grade three, going 16 100 meters. He wants to run towards the front. Best jockey I can hire is Vincent C, jockey from France. And it's going to be a field of eight. You see us with our blue tack here for bright fun, hence the name. 
Uh, let's see if we're carrying any handicap. We are carrying a handicap, extra seven pounds. But you see, we're a B plus on the turf and everybody else is C minus, D plus, and then an E ranked horse, Lovely Giggles. Uh, so this should be our race to win. Let's go ahead and uh, head down to the gate. And we're off and racing. So Bright Fun should be pushing for the lead here. And he does quite quickly. And taking quite off is Bright Fun. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the last 400 meters. Look at that space and that gap. I hope the rest of the field doesn't close. We'll see if Bright Fun has the endurance to hang on. Two furlongs left to go. Bright Fun's still there. There is a charging lucid tree in second place. And actually a couple horses now. Here comes I'm the C. Furlong left to go. Bright Fun is tiring. You gotta hold on, hold on. Bright Fun, hold on, hold on. I think we're just gonna get there just in time. Yes, Bright Fun just holds on. So three wins in a day. Even when I'm doing regional races in this game, not often I win three races in a day. Technically, two back-to-back. -back, almost three back-to-back. -back. So I think uh, my horses are getting better, and I'm slowly starting to figure out the best way to to improve um, their, their winning capabilities. So another great win, and pretty much the same story as last time with our Colt Crown Pilot. This time, our Colt Bright Fun ends up jumping from, again, a 102 rating up to a 110. Uh, his stats remain virtually unchanged because he's pretty much maxed out. Uh, but again, that's the benefit of having a horse that at least has 81 speed, 81 stamina. You're not awful. You're not the greatest, but you'll be competitive, and that's all I need right now. So actually, one thing I wanted to do is check Crown Pilot's win-loss ratio. I think I forgot to do that. So three grade two wins. Three out of three. So Crown Pilot's undefeated. And he just turned four. So this is actually a really good horse I probably stumbled upon. So definitely excited to use him from breeding. And again, he's a colt that I created for my own breeding. So you see the quality of your horses definitely improve if you're going to use your own horses for breeding. As opposed to just relying on the auction. And then Bright Fun, there's another win for you. That puts you at two grade twos, one grade three, three wins out of eight starts. And remember, he was on that slumper of five, a fifth place finishes. He finally bounces back and gets a win in that grade three. And uh, two horses rated, I think I have two or three horses now rated at 110. Three, I have four horses rated at 110. That's awesome. And all of those four, I think I will be using for breeding most likely. Definitely Sim Rally, definitely Bright Fun, Crown Pilot, Delightful Kiss. I'm a little undecided. If I'm going to use her for breeding. Her stats aren't great speed and stamina wise, but she is average across the level at B. And if that's where I'm starting, that's not a terrible starting point. So maybe using her for uh, just maybe a, a couple uh, lines might be okay. That's going to do it for this video, though. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll continue to make progress. Like I said, stay tuned because within the next episode or two, uh, I'll be doing a lot of breeding and I will be using uh, the names that you guys have suggested in the Discord for your horse's names. Um, but I'll make sure to remind you guys of that because I'm sure people aren't aware that I do that in this game, too. Uh, but we're going to really start taking that a little bit more seriously. And I'm looking forward to it. So I appreciate you guys for love and support. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, HRG signing out. Hope you all have a great, fantastic day. I'll see you later.